While we reflect on our new way of living within the context of a pandemic, let's not forget the silent and devastating pandemic which has plagued all of our societies for decades, gender-based violence. Globally, one in three women and girls will experience intimate partner violence in their lifetimes. COVID-19 has exacerbated gender-based violence with data from around the world, including right here in Trinidad and Tobago, indicating alarming spikes in incidents of domestic violence as victims are locked in with abusers. The 16 Days of Activism annual international campaign against gender-based violence represents an opportunity to shine a spotlight once again on ending this epidemic so that our women and girls are empowered and supported. This year's theme, Orange the World, Fund, Respond, Prevent, Collect, highlights our collective responsibility to finally end the scourge of gender-based violence in all our societies. The United Nations stands in solidarity with our women and girls and the government of Trinidad and Tobago to create space for these conversations and to push for progress. This year, the United Nations, in partnership with the European Union, is also pleased to have launched the Spotlight Initiative in Trinidad and Tobago. Spotlight is a global multi-year initiative to end gender-based violence in all its forms as a driver for the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. The Spotlight Initiative will tackle the issue through a holistic, community-based approach, working with national stakeholders, including the government, civil society and the private sector, to address family violence as a prevalent form of gender-based violence in this society. Spotlight will build upon the notable progress of Trinidad and Tobago to adopt and implement protective laws and policies, strengthen institutions, enhance service delivery, prevent the violence before it occurs, and enhance data collection and work with the women's movements and grassroots organizations that have galvanized resources for years and to whom much of the progress is owed. We commend Trinidad and Tobago on its commitment to fight gender-based violence. But we echo the sentiments of the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who said together, let us redouble our efforts to end gender-based violence during COVID-19 and beyond. 